Hello! And this video we're going to be looking at the reaction manager, specifically the reaction manager. So if you're quite confident with it, um, you know, and you feel that you can already start working with it to on the bones, then you could skip to the next video if necessary. Otherwise this is going to go into a little bit more depth about it, uh, looking at, you know, what you can do besides obviously just obviously just moving uh, objects around uh, using controls, you know it can also scale and rotate as well. So we'll just go through a few of them. Um, the first thing you need to do is create create a control panel, and we'll do this in the basic way using shapes. So we'll just create a simple square, holding down control make it a decent size like so and then we need to create a control point kind of like a joystick so think of this as the base and then we need our joystick to do that we don't use a shape we use a helper and if you go down you'll see point by the way I just realized default it will be selected to just a simple cross like so but you want really to have box as well, just so it's easier to select. Select box and cross. Okay. Right. Now, obviously, that's great. But it's not central to this. And a quick way to do that is to use the align tool. So if you tap the align tool, press that, and this box will come up. Now, all these settings are fine, but make sure these three are ticked. They're not always ticked, so ensure that they are, and then press OK. Now that is absolutely central to this box, which is important. We can now link this object here to this. So when we move this, that moves with it, because at the moment it doesn't. And the way to do that is press this button up here, select and link, select that, left click and hold, and drag it till it changes to that that little symbol okay and that will have done it if I move this now there you go you see it moves with it and that's really important if you're using a control panel because you want everything to move um, you know together and also as well it changes it so this is now localized to this so you know it can be positioned anywhere and this point here right in the middle will always be zero because that's the center of its pivot point see okay right to you continuing on the last thing we need to do is limit this area because at the moment you can see that it can go out which doesn't really help if you're trying to control something um, you know you want it to stay within that specific area don't you so bring that back to do this select the point go to motion and you'll see in here if you, you might need to drop it down like so the assign controller tab and go into transform drop that will no doubt be collapsed and then drop position and you'll see X Y and Z okay and because it works on a uh, parent level, if I show you if I switch that to parent, it should be exactly the same in this case, but not always I'd like to point out, so it's important to change that. We can see that it's X and Y. So on X, if we click it and then go to assign controller and we're going to apply a float limit. Okay, and this is, little box will appear and will help us create our limit. So at the moment it's something ridiculous, you know it's 1000. So if you cap that at zero, you shouldn't be able to move it, like so. I can't move it. But if we pop that up to, let's say, I don't know, 14 maybe. Same with this one. And you can see it starts bumping up there. 14. Okay, so it's kind of limited it. Let's drop that down to minus 14 15 there we go minus 15 and it stopped us there so 15 15 see 15 minus 15 okay so as I said the pivot point of this is 0 to it 
So minus 15 stops there. We can make that more. Let's make that minus 25. Ooh, almost there. 0.5. Mm, it's more or less. Aye, aye. Three. There we go. Absolutely on. Now what we can do is take that 25.3, copy it, and paste it into here. 25.3. And that should now limit us either side. See? Can't go any further. So now we have only that much control, which is exactly what we want, because we don't want to be able to make our face deform any more than it should. So these controls are important to know. Right, okay, so we'll leave it there for now. Let's add the y-axis one. So select the y position, click assign controller, float limit, and press OK. Alright, and because it's square, it means that it should be the same in this one as well. So just to test it. There we go. Exactly the same. Whoop. I mean to move you. So we can see that we can move it like that. And it's all great. Right. Now I'll just realign that to this. There we go. Right, yeah. Now we're ready to open the reaction manager. And the reaction manager is found in animation. So click the animation tab and go down to reaction manager and you'll see this window and this is it's really actually quite straightforward um, put simply we have master slave add selected delete selected we're only going to really use these two and you can add selected um, to quickly add things later on if you've got multiple objects that's especially helpful um, but I prefer to have a control, so I don't really ever use add selected. It's up to you. So add master, and our master one is going to be what moves this. So we know that this is what's going to move that. So this is our master object. And we're going to specifically say that its position of, let's say, x, okay, right, is going to move X on our little box here. So we need to add slave. And the box should be our slave. Transform, position, X position. There we go. Now state is the next part we've got to look at. is down here. Because up here just tells us exactly what's going on. Um, that's our master and that's our slave that falls below it. See it's like the indent indented so you know it is the slave. Down here is the state. Whatever state this is in will define whatever happens to this. And it's like keyframing the animation. That's the way it kind of works. So at zero at the moment, this is at zero on x coordinates. You can see that value is zero, zero. But if we say, for instance, create a new state, no, we shouldn't have done that, sorry. If we move this like that, and then create a new state. Okay, so make sure you move that first, then create a new state. Otherwise, you have to go back and delete it. Um, you'll see that that's now minus 25.3, which was the limit of this, wasn't it? So the next thing we have to do is move this. To do that, we have to go into edit mode. So select that when in edit mode. Okay, select our thing that we want to move and let's move it let's say I don't know out here like this there we go so minus 85.016 turn off edit mode go back into here okay and I'll, let's create a new state again okay so this time obviously we don't have to uh, you know move it or anything. I mean we could. Let's move it over there. Fine. That's easy enough. Create a new state. Uh, go to edit mode and let's move this one all the way over here. Okay. Oh, it's not far off actually. So you can actually make it accurate by typing in numbers 
if you want it to be the same distance, so 0.16, there we go. So that's the exact distance. Turn off edit mode. And now if we move this, you can see that it controls that box. Okay, so if you imagine this with the bone, it would give you the control to, you know, make the eye look left and right, for instance. I, I don't know. Um, that's probably a bad example. Um, kind of, obviously, that would be rotate. <laughs> um, if it was vertical, it could be the jaw. And the vertical stuff we'll do in, in a second. So, vertical is the same again. You want to add a master. So this is our master, except instead, this time, position is Y position and limited controller. So select that and we want to add a slave. This again, transform, position, Y position this time. And now it's the same process all over again. So we want to create, move this, create another state. Okay, edit mode. And move this down. Let's say I'm gonna go a bit crazy over this time. And then move this up, create another state, and edit mode that up to there. And I won't bother about it being accurate this time, but there we go. And of course, if you, you can move it in any direction. There we go. And that is the basics of Reaction Manager. But as I said, you can also do other things with it as well. So for instance, if I wanted to, I could add another one. I could add another master. Okay, so select it again. Oops, don't mean to choose that. I could choose... What's wrong with me? There we go. Transform. And let's say I choose this time, uh, I could suppose add it to, yeah, let's add it to exposition. Okay, so I want to add another slave to exposition, which is this one. And this time I want it to change the rotation is a bit straightforward because it's like the same position, but if I choose scale, that's a better example. Choose scale, okay, so if I make the X zero, so we're going to move this back to its center point. There we go. We make that zero. And I'm going to recreate this state. Because by default, when you add something, it automatically creates a state. So create a new state. Okay. And that's it at its current scale. And its current scale value is one, I think. We go into edit mode. Let's see if we scale it a little bit more. Oh yeah, one, 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 one. There we go. Right. So, what we can do now is create, is move this, do our usual thing, move it over there, for instance. Create a new state. Go into edit mode. Okay. Select the box and scale it as much as we like. Okay, turn it off. And now, same thing again. See, scale. So you could use this as for a different control. Let's say if a character was uh, breathing or something like that and you wanted something in the chest that would, uh, you know, scale. You know, you could have control over how fast they were breathing by just animating a control, you know, by making the chest expand. So there's lots of little things you can do with it. Or even cheeks expanding for that matter. So you could do a lot of different things. Um, you know, not just movement, and obviously rotation as well for the especially useful if you're doing the eyes. Um, so I guess I might as well show that one. If that I'll delete just a few of these states just so uh, we can clear it up a little bit. Okay. 
In fact, get rid of that one. There we go. Right. So, center that up once again. Okay. And curiously enough, it's now stuck over there, isn't it? Let's bring that back. Ah. <laughs> right, this, so these are going to have to be deleted before we can move that. There we go. <laughs> okay, so add the master again. Okay, same thing again. You know, we're going to keep it exactly the same. Exposition. And then we're going to add the slave. So add slave. Except this time, obviously, we're going to rotation. And we're going to go X rotation. Right? And then it once again is the same story. So I'll only I'll only do one example because you, you'll get the idea now. Um, but create, move this, create a new state. Uh, go to edit mode. And this time we're just going to rotate it. So let's say 45 degrees, like so. So if I go down and we look at it, there we go. And then if we do the same for the other side, so move it, create, edit. Okay, there we go. That will do as an example. Okay. Hmm. Hasn't worked for some reason. Oh. <laughs> That's why it hasn't worked. This is what's important to watch out for your pivot, guys. Because I've made a stupid error. Um, basically, when I said change this, and take my own advice, did I? Um, make sure that just because x is on this axis in move doesn't mean it's going to be on this axis in rotate so a very noobish error by myself there and uh, I'm probably going to have to kick myself for that one but let's quickly do that again very very quickly this time okay so x okay I'm going to rotate that back so it's back to normal there we go Okay, X, apply the slave, transform on position, and this time take notice that it's actually the green one, so that's Y, it's Y that I actually wanted to rotate, so transform, rotation, Y, right, <laughs> okay, so if I move this this time, create a state, right, go into edit mode, and rotate this. 45 degrees. That's more like it. See it there? So move this the other way. Uh, create state. Uh, and edit would help. Edit. And there we go. That's more like it. So that would be the quick way to do the eye. Obviously, the pivot would be in the middle, as discussed previously. But you know, that's pretty much directions for the eye to look in. And if you did that, obviously, on Y as well, then you'd have the eye being able to look in all directions. Anyway, there we go. That was a, a quick, or should have been quicker, if I'd made so many silly mistakes, um, overview of the Reaction Manager.